Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and unfortunately I've had to halt, I mean completely, all my projects due solely to Second Life screw-ups. I still have a problem with my tongue, so I'm going to be a little slow on the speaking. Uh, it all started when I found out the melee wasn't working right. It's kind of a catch-all term. The uh, melee device will shoot a little prim. It's supposed to be invisible and it hits Avatar and that uh, brings up points and whatever. And that's how it works. Well, unfortunately, uh, that screwed up, and when I tried to fix it, second life screwed up again and again and again, and I'm not going to bother you with details, but I don't have my sets anymore. Not the sets that I was working on at the time, except for this one. This is a boarding house set that I was working on for Frightville. Now, I can res individual rooms. That's the good news. I can press that one. And there's busy resing the set. These are intact. I don't have the basement. I don't have the attic, which I wasn't planning on using extensively, but that's what happened. This part's intact, but the uh, houses, schoolhouse and such, they're not intact. They're gone. Thank you very much, Second Life. Star Trek sets are intact. And once again, I don't have any place to use uh, use melee anymore. I'll show you something. This is another plot of land I bought. Uh, is going to serve as my uh, melee area once I get it done and I put in houses and resers and all this. I may have to completely redo the uh, Frightville episode, The Inheritance. I may have to redo it from scratch. That's how bad things are. Or I can always start on another Star Trek episode. As long as I don't use melee, my Star Trek sets are intact. I don't have any timetable for resuming, so... I'm thinking maybe I want to get out fishing before a boss calls me and wants me to come in to work. I don't know. All due to the second life screw-up. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm working on it. Some days just don't pay to get out of bed. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.